I know that the lack of education and the lack of awareness about indenture means that I personally, as an Indo-Fijian, I find myself having to explain the whole story of what indenture is to people who don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. And like you said, the reactions sometimes are that they don't want to hear it or that they may not feel that our ancestors' struggles were that mm-hmm. bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Have yeah. you dealt with that and how does that make you feel, especially knowing what our ancestors went through? In, in layman's terms, it makes me feel really sad. It makes me feel um, completely invalidated. It makes me feel yeah. like um, there's some sort of victim Olympics that we're out here trying to compete in. And that is something that I do not do is compete in the victim Olympics. Yeah. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in um, you know, multiple marginalized populations here arguing over whose issues are worse and which ones um, are more important to focus on. Um, I feel like that that tends to happen a lot too, unfortunately. To listen to this incredible podcast, go to globalindianseries.com or click on the link in the bio. Now do me a favor, share the love, share the support, share this podcast. Global Indian Network. Print, TV, events, podcasts. Find out more at globalindianseries.com.